Hello everyone, I'm Rui Zhao from Lynx Foundation. I'm going to present a cross-platform communication mechanism for rules-based cyber physical system, which is a part of H2020 EU project, BrainLT. First of all, I would like to thank for the contributions from the co-authors, Xu Tao, David Conson, Enrico Ferreira from Lynx Foundation, and Yun Chayu from Tongji University. Mm. Nowadays, the rules-based cyber-physical system has been used in multiple IoT domains like uh, smart city and uh, intelligent production environment. The next uh, generation of IoT system will be very sophisticated, which requires to efficiently react to the system environment. So in the, such case, the interoperability between rules-based cyber physical system and other heterogeneous IoT systems will bring many potential benefits. But some, some of the shell IoT devices or platforms don't support the secondary development and uh, together with the emerging IoT standards, that uh, increase the difficulties for the interoperability. So the authors of this work uh, propo proposed an approach which will be implemented as a rose edge node for resolving the interoperability problem in a dynamic and a federated environment. The proposed uh, communication mechanism is an adapter of rules-based uh, CPS to be integrated with the NBLT platform, which will be further introduced later. Apart from the interoperability, it uh, allows to automatically abstract and adapt to various rules environment through the provided code generator. In addition, by leveraging the OSGI specification, which provides the life cycle management of the Java dynamic modular system, an event-driven approach will be used to the rules agent node so that it's able to be dynamically deployed in a distributed environment. Moreover, it exploits the web, web of Things thing description standard to describe the interface provided by rules environment for the interaction with the external IoT platform. Okay, now let's just have an overview of the BrainLT platform to better understand why and how the rules agent node is built up on it. BrainLT will establish a framework and a methodology for supporting the interrelated software modules in a fully decentralized and federated environment. It enables the automatic uh, installation and replacement of the software modules reacting to the environmental changes and user events. It has the structural layers. In layer 1, there is a set of physical computing resources, for example, um, the Linux Tower rules based uh, robots in layer 2. There is a distributed uh, Paramos service fabric uh, runtime which is uh, um, designed on premise. It consists a set of OSGI agents installed uh, on different uh, fabric fibers and provide the discovery system provisioning and uh, communication service for the deployed uh, application service, which are called uh, BrainLT service. In layer 3, 
There are some BLT core infrastructure service for searching, deploying other BLT service. The behavior management service knows all the available computing resources for each node. And uh, the bundle installer service will be installed on each of the fabric fiber. In layer 3, there are some BLT, um, BLT service which is released in the BLT repository. Each BLT um, service is with their capability. They are uh, specified in their uh, manifest. There are two types of BLT nodes. One is the BLT controller node where application logics are installed and uh, the bring out edge node with the installed edge service, for example, the uh, adapter. When a system will be imported in the BLT framework, the BMS and the BIS will automatically uh, select the proper BLT service and dynamically deploy them on different nodes. All of the deployed BLT service will communicate through the events delivered in the uh, distributed event bus. Also, the event bus will provide the filter function for each event. And uh, their communication will follow the publish and subscribe pattern. So author's con contribution is to develop the rules edge node adapter for rules-based robots to integrate it within BLT platform, allowing them to interact with LT devices and uh, platforms in a smart infrastructure. Now let's see the architecture of Rose Edge Node. During the development of the Rose Edge Node, there is two phases. In phase one, we have to abstract the Rose functionality by creating a list of clients for the Rose service publisher and subscribers, thanks to the APIs provided by Rose Java Library. Also, we will automatically map the native rules agent uh, rules message in Java type. So, the Java type and the rules message they will have the completely same data structure. In phase two, uh, we will develop the robot service. Actually, it's just one wrapper of the service clients. By using the robot service wrapper, we will integrate the ROS edge node with the BLT event bus. Also, the events received from the event bus will be formatted and constructed as the rules message in Java type through the uh, rules service clients, this Java object will be delivered into the robot. By using the rules edge node, we can bridge the rules world and the OCI world, which allow to allow to enhance and uh, extend the robot behaviors at uh, application level and uh, decrease uh, the risk. Um, moreover, in a wider pr um, perspective of BLT platform, robots will able to autonomously configure themselves by self-deploying the most proper Rose edge node according to the events coming from the surrounding environment. 
Mm. To speed up the development uh, process of ROS AG node, we provide the code generator leveraging the J code model library, whose API will provide the support for generating Java source code. In addition, we use the Web of Things thing description to describe the ROS interface for the interaction from external platform. After the ROS edge node is uh, created, it's possible to monitor the robot system state status and uh, develop some AI algorithm to control the interaction between the CPS and uh, other IoT device or system. Here, we use the, the uh, robotics use case to validate the proposed ROS edge node with the uh, BrainLT platform. Mm, thanks to the ROS environment provided by the partner Robotnik, there are a swarm of RB1 based robots corporate. Uh, to move all the carts from the picking area to storage area, passing through an automated the door with a QR code. We will design a multi-agent system, and uh, each robot will be controlled by a robot behavior service, which will share a list of tasks. The robots uh, is able to scan the QR code in front of the door to inform the robot behavior to open the door. The door is controlled by a edge node through the HTTP protocol. Here you can see the development of the ROS edge node for RB1 based robot. Here in the thing description, we will pr describe the functionality of the ROS-based robot and put it as the code generator's input. And finally, we got the ROS edge node for RB1-based robot. BrailleT provides the graphical user interface to help the uh, operator check where the current BrainLT service has been automatically installed. Also, if we look inside, the, uh, the, we can see ROS edge node um, capability, which is specified the consumed events like the right, right go to. And uh, we can also manually deploy the ROS agent node by selecting, selecting the um, fabric node. Here we can see the interaction of the robot and uh, the door. After the multi-agent system has been deployed in fabric, the robot behavior will firstly send one uh, go-to command to the ROS edge node. During the execution of this command, the robot will find there is a door that stops its move. Then a door found event will be issued to inform robot behavior for opening the door. The open door command will be delivered uh, in the event bus. But since uh, there is not any um, available BrailleT service for consuming the open door project, uh, open door uh, event, the door each node will be automatically downloaded from the BrailleT service. The events are filtered in the distributed event bus. Also, uh, through the ROS edge node, we are able to check 
if the mission is finished or not, uh, and also check uh, if there is any exception uh, happened during the execution um, of the ROST command. Finally, um, ROST agent node will be de developed as an adapter to ROST-based server physical system in BrailleT platform and allowing the interoperability with other heterogeneous IoT systems through the event bus. And uh, it uh, um, also provides the uh, code generator for fast adaptation to various roles based IoT device and platform. Also, we provide uh, the same description um, uh, feature. Provide the uh, by using the same description, we are able to model many different uh, rules-based cyber physical system. And uh, finally, as one input, uh, the code uh, generator will automatically generate uh, the rules agent node for different uh, rules robots. By using the OSGI specification, we also provide uh, the plug-in and plug-and-play feature in the BrailleT framework to respond to the um, environment changes. Thank you.